Hey people, Shazam15 here. This week's review was Captain America. Now, all in all, it was a very entertaining film. I will admit, for the geeky opinion part of things, I don't know enough about the background for Captain America to really give you an honest opinion. However, what I do know, I will point out where things seemed a bit weird to me. Alright, I will point out that this is actually a breakthrough in World War II films by American Studios because for a change, they give credit to the Allies as though they, are, they were not in it alone. This is good. This is close to reality. Although, once again, the Canadians and the Australians don't get their credit despite the fact that compared to the size of their population, they gave more. But, then again, no one, not even the British history books do that, so what are you going to do? Right, the way they did this little nod to the Allies is the way the Howling Commandos are made up of several people from several different nations. You've got a British para, who has a lovely machine gun, may I say. I honestly reckon that is the sexiest gun of the war. You have the Frenchman who only the black guy can understand. That's not a little bit racist. No. Uh, I will give the commandos this tiny little problem. They don't really point out which one of them's Fury's dad. I mean, which one of them's Fury? Doesn't really explain that one. Oh yeah, I also like the way that this film was done with the history of Captain America, but the they'd used the storytelling device. I'm not a media study student, so I can't tell you exactly, and it's been so long since I did drama, I can't remember what it is, but, you know, how they start off in the present and work their way. They then go straight to the start of the past, tell the story, and then come back th again. That's very nice. Right. Now... My biggest thing, where I was going, ah, what, was Barnes. Now, as I recall, Barnes is supposed to be 13, 14. He is not supposed to be a fully grown man, and never mind a sergeant. He's supposed to just be a plucky sidekick. Also, he dies. Or at least he appears to. Now, as I recall... The real Bucky becomes the Winter Soldier during the Cold War. This does not seem to be able. But then again, it also doesn't exactly give a hint as to whether or not there was any link between this Captain America and the Invaders, which was his original team. No sign of the Human Torch, the first one, I will point out. There have been two. Storm is the second. The first one helped Captain America and died from cancer due to his own powers. Right. That's the little connecty problems. That's the thing. Overall, I quite liked it. Red Skull was pulled off quite well. The whole Hydra link to the Nazi party, fine. Teutonics, that's all good, well and good. Now, that's pretty much all the film bits. It's quite good, it's quite entertaining. Although, I did think with Stark that it's such a shame we won't meet Arno because, quite frankly, it's too late now. There's no way you can get a nephew into the Iron Man storyline to have Arno Stark for Iron Man 2020. Oh well, so long to that idea. Right. Now, as everyone knows, at the end of the Marvel things, they now do a little preview of the next film in the sequence. Well, the next film in the sequence that leads up to the Avengers film. Now, all in all, I don't actually like the look of the new Avengers film. And I'll tell you why. It's because the two most quintessential Avengers seem to be out of the starting lineup. I don't understand how you can do the Avengers without Ant-Man and without Wasp. How is that possible? Someone explain that to me. I don't know. Anyway, that's my big pet peeve, and, you know, so, all in all, I will rate this entertaining, 
but it's got some problems from a geeky perspective. However, from a non-geeky perspective, it's a brilliant film. From someone who doesn't know Captain America, it's a nice film. And I will admit a guilty pleasure. I quite like Captain Britain, so watching Captain America made me think, you know what, Captain Britain film would be excellent. Or even better, Hoffman Angler. Because you can mess around with that as much as you want. As long as you've got the Nazis invading Britain, it's fine. Whatever happens. Anyway, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. Anyway, signing off. I will see you next week. Have fun.